Digital controller design by emulation is straightforward and easy to do, but because of approximations, it only works well when the sampling frequency is high compared to the bandwidth of the control system. We could use another digital controller design approach called direct digital design, which does not make any approximations, but is more difficult to use. Direct digital design first converts the continuous time part of the control system to an equivalent discrete time model and then directly designs a digital controller in the discrete time domain. In this video, we'll look at the first step, how to convert a continuous time plant to an equivalent discrete time model. The process of direct digital design is illustrated here. This diagram shows the digital control system configuration with the continuous plant and discrete controller separated by a zero order hold and sampler. The first step is to find an equivalent discrete model for the combination of the zero order hold, continuous plant and sampler. This discretized plant model is given by this block and we see that the control system has been transformed to a purely discrete system. It is now possible to perform the second step, which is to design a discrete controller to control the discretized plant. In this video, we focus on the first step, which is shown in this diagram. We take the combination of the zero order hold, continuous plant and sampler, and try to find a discrete model that behaves the same way. We calculate the equivalent discrete plant model by applying a discrete impulse on the input of the zero order hold, continuous plant and sampler combination and calculating the discrete output signal. This output signal is the discrete impulse response of the equivalent discrete plant and we can apply the Z-transform to find its discrete transfer function. The equivalent discrete model incorporates the dynamics of both the zero order hold and plant and the transfer function is therefore denoted by GHOG where GHO refers to the zero order hold and G refers to the plant. The first sampler simply indicates that we convert from a purely digital signal to an impulse train model since we want to use the continuous time impulse response for the zero order hold we've derived previously. To determine the equivalent discrete plant model, we start with the continuous time part. The transfer function of the combination of the zero order hold and continuous plant is simply the product of their respective transfer functions. The continuous impulse response of the zero order hold and plant is then the inverse Laplace transform of the transfer functions. To obtain the discrete impulse response, we sample the continuous impulse response and we then apply the Z transform to get the discrete transfer function. These steps can be written in one line as follows and abbreviated like this. We previously calculated the transfer function of the zero order hold circuit as 1 minus e to the power minus st over s which means that we can separate the z transform into two terms e to the minus st corresponds to a one sample period delay and we can therefore write the second term as z to the minus 1 times the z transform of gs divided by s after combining the two terms we see that the equivalent discrete plant is given by 1 minus z to the minus 1 times the z transform of the continuous plant transfer function divided by s. This result is the same as the step invariant discretization we've looked at before, but there is one important difference. The previous discretization methods were approximate, whereas the equivalent discrete plant model we calculate here is exact. To illustrate the discretization of the continuous plant, let's work through a simple example. Suppose the continuous plant is given by 1 over s plus 2 and the sampling period is 0.5 seconds. We wish to determine the equivalent discrete plant model. From the derivation on the previous page, the equivalent discrete plant 
is given by 1 minus z to the minus 1 times the z transform of g of s divided by s. g of s divided by s is given by 1 over s times s plus 2 and we can write the 1 as a half times 2. We then use the Laplace and z transform tables to find the transfer function and after some manipulation we write the transfer function in the standard format. If we compare the continuous and discrete transfer functions, we see that the continuous pole at minus 2 is mapped to a discrete pole at 0 0.368. This is the conclusion of the first step in the direct digital design process. For the remainder of the module, we will focus on the second step, which is designing a discrete controller to control the equivalent discrete plant.